Hey guys, Cameron here. This is just a, a quick wee uh, Photoshop tip video on the perspective tool and it's also a, a video response to Dom's video he put up earlier on today. Uh, so basically I've got a picture of a street, street signs, basically the same sort of idea that Dom was saying. And I've got this uh, agent, sales agent picture. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can uh, select all. What I usually do is just left click and hold and then drag over to the tab. Once it's in the tab, let go and the image is now there. Uh, now what to do is if you hold down your left, uh, left shift key and then just make the new image or the new layer smaller, that will keep the perspective of the image correct. So rather than have it stretched out like that, uh, what we'll do, but in, in, well, really and truly in this case it doesn't really matter, but we'll just undo that anyway uh, and we'll keep the perspective correct. We'll move that up. We'll just drag that down again to see about there. Uh, we'll bring the, uh, the, the opacity down a wee bit so we can see and we will zoom in so as you can see uh, now I found this out in Photoshop CS4 uh, CS5 and 6 it's the same whatever the, the command is in the panel I've still yet to find it but I know what the shortcut key is because I found it by accident uh, and it is if you hold down your control key your left control key then what you can do is, as you can see, you can start changing the perspective uh, of your image. Double click, that's it saved. Cool, and then we'll just zoom out, back to screen. And there you go, that's how you use the perspective tool. Uh, obviously you'd Further around that, you can still see there's it's kind of sharp edging around there, so you just kind of blur or feather around that. Uh, and like Dom said, I mean, there are better, there, there are other softwares, software packages out there to start with. Uh, either free ones online, like, like Google's Picasso, it's great for just your basic editing of your images, straightening images, uh, fixing red eye, color correction, cropping. It's great for that. Uh, one of the packages I started off with was PaintShop Pro. I started off with PaintShop Pro 3, I think it was, right up until 9, and then uh, Corral bought it over, uh, and now it's called uh, Photo, Corral Photo X1, I think it is. Uh, I had X1 and X2. When X3 came out, that's when I moved over to Photoshop, and it was a huge leap for me. Uh, getting used to Photoshop. Uh, unlike Dom, I have no idea how to use GIMP and I only know how to open up and close uh, Lightroom. Uh, I do all my stuff in Photoshop. I do all my edits, my raw edits in Bridge. Uh, so yeah, so that's how you use Perspective Tool in Photoshop CS4 and above. Hope that's been of some help. Cheers.